السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته um, How are you my dear students? Hope that you are fine In sha Allah today we will learn about the time Our lesson is understanding the hour hand and the minute hand We have clock This is called clock This is called clock Okay So you can see this clock in your home And you can see it in everywhere But you want to know when you do anything you want to know when you go to school when you travel when you eat also when you play you want to know what is the time okay now we will learn to how to read the time we have clock now okay and then look in the clock you have two hands just like me and you, two hands, two hands, this black hands, one short hand and one long hand, short hand and long hand, okay, but we have names, short hand called the hour hand, but long hand called the minute hand, so we have hour hand, minute hand, our hand and minute hand. The short hand, our hand, cannot touch the number. Why? Because it's short, so it cannot touch the number. But the long hand, it can touch the number. Okay, so again, our hand, short hand, cannot touch the number. Minute hand, long hand, can touch the number. Okay, how to read, teacher? Let's learn how to read. Okay, now, every time you will find the minute hand touches 12, so you will say o'clock. Every time when you find the minute hand touches 12, you will say what? O'clock. Okay. But you start reading from the hour hand, from the short. You start reading from the hour hand. The hour hand pointing to four. The hour hand pointing to four. So you start read four o'clock. Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Okay, let's see another one. Our hand pointing to number five. So pointing 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 to number five. So you will see what you start reading from the short hand five, and you find that the minute hand touching twelve. So we say five o'clock. Five o'clock. Okay, another time when you see. Our hand, the hour hand pointing to number seven. So you will see what you will say. You will say seven o'clock. You will say seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Let's see our lesson. Here's number one. He asked you draw the hands on the face clock. You have here face clock like your face. It's rounded and you have digital clock. What's mean by digital clock? Digital clock means that three, this number at the left, tells the hour. So three tells the hour. Zero, zero tells the minutes. So this three for the hour and this zero, zero for the minutes. Teacher, why zero, zero? Because I said the long, the long hand the minute hand pointed at 12, so I have no minutes, zero, zero. So if you see the long hand pointed at 12, you will say zero, zero. You will say clock, you will say a clock. So now, he, 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 write, he wrote for you <coughs> three o'clock. This is three o'clock, okay? So how to draw, how to draw the hands? Three means, three means, the short hand pointed to number three, a clock. And if you see a clock, you 
know that the long hand point to 12. Let's draw number two. Five o'clock. Five o'clock, teacher, I know it. It's very easy. You will write five and o'clock means zero, zero. It means the long hand pointed at 12 o'clock. So how to read five o'clock? Five means the, the hour hand pointed at five. The hour hand pointed at five. And o'clock means, means what? The minute hand pointed at 12. Now, let's see number four. 11 o'clock. What's mean by 11 o'clock? 11 o'clock, it means you will write, you will draw the short hand pointed at 11. Where is the short hand? The short hand here pointed at 11. And o'clock means the long hand pointed at 12. The long hand pointed at 12. How to draw it on the digital uh, clock? I will write. At the left, 11. So here is 11. Tells the hour. So what is the hour? 11. Okay, o'clock means, o'clock means the long hand pointed at 12. I will write here 0, 0. Okay. 